Well, howdy, folks. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Whistle Wednesdays. I'm pretty sure this is the first Whistle Wednesdays of 2024 because I think the last one was in December. But today, I'm going to be taking a look at this right here. And I got this at a gas station and it was up near the register and I just glanced at it and thought it was a lighter. But then I actually noticed the label here and it says three sound multifunctional electronic whistle. And I was like, electronic whistle, what the heck is that? And um, so I grabbed it. So I got into my car and I started looking at the box and I realized, okay, this was not created by someone who spoke English as their first language. It was definitely translated. So you see here, there's a little picture of the whistle and there are little arrows that point at the different components of the whistle. So what would probably be considered the trigger switch is labeled as articulation key. And what would probably be considered the volume switch is labeled as three frequency sound effect. Okay, I can figure that out. Then pointed at the end where the sound comes out, it says high school bass adjustment. What? I have no idea what that was supposed to mean. But anyway, then over here, where is it? It has what looks like a little warning indicator, but instead of warning, it says matters needing attention. And then it has three of them. And the first one says, remember not to sound in your ear. Second one says, this whistle is not a toy and should not be used by children. And then number three, please point up or down when using. When you're done, please wave the shield and turn off power. Huh? But let's find out what this thing is, an electronic whistle. No clue. So, okay, we've got a little bag here and there's something else in here. What else is in here? Oh, little baby screwdriver. All right, what else? Some batteries. And a lanyard. Okay. All right, here's our whistle. And this is the brand name, Anizer. I'm not sure how you say that, but anyway, <laughs> there's the whistle. Uh, this appears to be the battery door, so let me get that open. Let's go ahead and put the batteries in it. Okay, the batteries are in. I'm going to go ahead and put the battery door back on. There we go. I'm not sure what the little screwdriver is for. Um, it didn't come with any instructions, but maybe that's to help you get the battery door off. I don't know. In any case, okay, so we've got three switches here, tone, one, two, or three, and then we've got three volume settings, volume setting one, two, and three. So I'm put it on volume one, tone one. If you can see that, let's go ahead and hit the button. Oh my God, that's loud. Sounds like a whistle. Let's put it on tone two. Good God, that's very loud. This is on volume setting one, too. And then tone three. Sounds more like a fire alarm or something. All right, so just for the heck of it, let's try the other volume settings. So here is tone one, volume two. That is really loud, guys. I, I'm quite sure the camera is not going to be able to depict that. But let's go back to the lowest volume setting. So once again, here are our tones. Tone one, tone two, tone three. That is how it works. I better raise the shield or whatever that said to do so I can uh, turn off the power. There you go. That was the little electronic whistle. I'd never seen one of these, but apparently they're a thing because I Googled it after I got home. Apparently these are popular with like athletic coaches and stuff if you're interested. There you go. That's how they work. Thanks for tuning in to Whistle Wednesdays. If you like what I do on this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.